we knew we had something that was really for couples, but we we needed ideas on how to market it, but we wasn't really had experience in how to do it. For me, I knew that there was no way we would be able to move forward as a, a, a an engaged married couple with all of these um, ideas in our head without having proper guidance. And when I say guidance, I don't mean, oh, this is how you market this and this is how you say that. I mean, the scheduling, the um, the order of priority in terms of lifestyle, what should your marriage look like and how does it interface with the business as the business drive the marriage or vice versa? How do you even conceptualize that? Because there's nothing out, nothing really out on the market that addresses that. And so the tipping point for, for me was this is kind of a once in a lifetime opportunity mm -hmm. to get all of get all of these areas addressed under one umbrella. What Love and Launch did was it brought structure to our idea. Yes. It told it sh it taught us how to take what we had in our head and create a value message of who are we targeting, what are we doing, and how are we going to do it? Who are we helping and how are we going to help them? The bells and whistles that you know, traditional marketing agencies may tell you you think you need, you really don't. So Love and Launch shows you how to use to make an offer and you know, setting up payment and all the back end things that you may see some major figures doing, but it's like, oh wow, I can do that too. And it, mm -hmm. it takes planning, it takes work, but you can do it, you can do it all for free if you have the right the right coaching. But the thing that we did not have was confidence in knowing of what we're talking about, knowing how to market that. And so uh, when we begin with the book as well and getting married too, all at the same time, it was like, okay, we need to know how to channel this. We mm -hmm. need to know how to bring this together. And now moving forward for myself, I'm a whole lot more confident. Yes. That really built my confidence. It pushed me out there, launched me out there and said, hey, get out the nest, get out of the house. Mm -hmm. Believe in what you're doing, know what you're doing. And that did it. That, that just brought me, brought us to where we are now and what we're doing now with couples, Christian and married couples and the booklet that we really believe in. We understood something that if financially we had to say, okay, listen, this is what we want. We have our businesses, we have our coaching, so we have to invest. We cannot hesitate. We cannot allow ourselves to be held back. You know, move forward with what you believe in and what you trust in and what it was about uh, as a result of this. You know, I'm going ahead. About two weeks ago, it was. Mm -hmm. My wife was invited to go to Florida and we went to uh, Florida and she spoke at an event that really helped uh, with the coaching that Owen Swick gave us, that she was very profitable in it. As a result, they wanted. They want me to. They want us to come back. Um, we've, we've taken the concepts we've learned, and we've been in a, been able to apply it to our other businesses successfully. Mm -hmm. um, maintain a sustainably profitable um, business stream of income. You can't afford not, not to sign up. Exactly. Because if you don't, you're going to spend so much more time trying to, to accomplish the same uh, end objective. And time is money. You can always get your money back, but you can't, can't get your time, get time back. back. And so when you go through a love and launch crash course with OL and Sway, and you look at how simple, when, when they say keep it super simple, they mean it. There is no nothing hidden about what it takes to become marketable and sustainably profitable. It's worth the time and, and the savings that of time that you will gain as a result of being part of Love and Life.